Uh, hi. You know, I have not owned a BB gun since I was a kid. But when I seen this one, I could not resist. This is a CO2 powered full auto BB gun. Made to look like a old Thompson M1. And this thing is not a light plastic piece of junk either. This thing's made out of metal and has some heft to it. The 30 round magazine takes two uh, CO2 cartridges. The CO2 cartridges are supposed to be good for, uh, uh, I've been told, seven uh, or so magazines. We'll find out. I have my doubts about that part. Holds 30 BBs. And here you can see uh, the safe and fire here. Single shot, or semi-auto rather, and full auto here. And of course this is your magazine release here. Charging handles on the opposite side. Now that looks like wood stock on there. However, it's some kind of plastic, but it looks, it really does look like wood. But all of this here is metal. It's not as uh, heavy as the original Thompson was. The original Thompsons were like 12, 13 pounds. This is probably. Uh, fully loaded, this is probably about seven and a half or eight pounds. But anyway, I just couldn't resist the idea of a full auto BB gun. Uh, first saw a full auto BB gun, I guess, in one of Bill Gowdy's videos. As long as I mentioned Bill there, I might as well just make him the shout out for this video. I'll put a link to his channel down in the description. Get free, a little free time, go check it out. But I'll get this camera put on the tripod here and we'll load this thing up and we'll see if it actually works. Okay, we'll try this thing out. I've got it on semi auto right now. Okay, let's go. Pull on it and see what happens. It doesn't take it very long to get through a magazine either. Okay, that's at a distance of about 30 feet. Probably long enough for a smooth bore BB gun. Anyway, this next magazine, I'll, uh, I'll put up a fresh paper plate here and I'll zoom the camera in on the paper plate. Okay, that looks like it's zoomed in pretty good. Uh, like I said, it, the range is about 30 feet, about 10 yards. And I'll give it a good little full auto here. Actually, that's reasonably accurate. <laughs> Maybe I'll move it back a little bit and see what happens. Okay, I still got the same target up. I'm going to move back about uh, maybe about 40 feet this time and see what that does. Helps if you take it off safe. Well, that seems to have spread out a little bit more, but maybe I wasn't holding it quite as steady as before either. Well, I managed to screw up the rest of the shooting part of the video. When I turned the camera around to uh, get a view of the gun again, I forgot to... to zoom it back out uh, where you know normal view and I ended up with a 
a good view of my arm and that was about it but in now it's starting to get dark so uh, instead of uh, redoing uh, that part of the video tomorrow I'll uh, sometime or other I'll just do another uh, complete video but anyway I got uh, uh, four full mags out of the cartridges before they went dead now I wanted to show you here how these things load now, this is the back part here here's your magazine here now, to load it you would just uh, simply uh, pull this magazine follower down and lock it into position like that and then you can load your BBs through here now, as far as the uh, CO2 cartridges they load from the bottom use a Allen wrench to unscrew the plug remove the plug see the cartridge is there one runs in that way the other one this way but anyway I got four um, oh right there may be part of the problem why I only got four magazines out of it when uh, they claimed eight seven or eight that uh, second one didn't pierce so maybe I really would have got uh, seven or eight mags out of it apparently I did not have that uh, tighten down tight enough to uh, pierce that second bottle well anyway I got uh, four full mags out of uh, out of basically one cartridge now, as for the rest of the gun like I said this uh, what looks like wood is actually plastic but it really does look like wood there's where your magazine loads in magazine release here your selector here semi-auto and uh, full auto safe and fire bolt actuator there I don't know if I mentioned the manufacturer of this thing or not. The, these are made by a company called uh, Umarex. And anyway, um, like I said, sometime or other I will uh, get this thing out again and do another uh, shooting video with it. And it's uh, at close range, it's surprisingly accurate for something, you know, just throwing out BBs with a smooth bore and of course there is essentially no recoil so you don't have to worry about it uh, rising on you but in general it's uh, a lot of fun after I get uh, a little more used to it I'm sure it'll be even more fun so thanks for watching